the healing journey? Well, contrary to popular belief, it's not one of these straight line processes. So basically we have the opening of a wound via a trigger or a response or reaction to an event. And these events are past, historic, probably from early childhood, but will have multiple phases to them. And because we have multiple phases to them, then what we do find is that we have sections and layers that we have to ultimately go through and return to in order to process exactly what has gone on before from a place of clearing and balancing. So because we didn't understand the original event, then we end up in a position whereby this memory or this stored event needs to be revisited at some point. And we need to make proper sense of it from a place of understanding the lesson and who we are, who we denied or closed off or shut off in order to get through that moment from the place of coping or survival. And because we didn't manage it or deal with it effectively at the time, then we have to go back and review exactly what's going on in order to make proper sense of it and to discover more of who we are. So we have ups and downs, we have pain as a guide, we have all of these signs and signals. And over time, we have to get ourselves into a position whereby we can actually do the healing work that we need to. But society these days doesn't really facilitate that downtime. It doesn't facilitate that reflection. Many of us are busy dealing with life, dealing with everything that's going on around us, that we forget that there are these underlying events that are currently running our day to day. From a subconscious perspective, we're looking at 95% of our lives are dictated. And this programming is basically what dictates exactly how we show up. So from that perspective, we then have to go back and review exactly what's going on underneath and working through all of these issues that put us into a state of imbalance. So when we go and do the work, it's not straightforward. It does take time. And the benefit of this healing isn't necessarily going to become apparent from the off. So there's that sense of doing the work, but the work itself doesn't have a instant gratitude. So the delay of that gratification then means that you don't necessarily see the results until a lot later on in the journey. And because it is slow and it is gradual, then we find that the process then becomes long and drawn out and we can possibly get too heavily involved in the negativity of it. So when you have instant downside, which is the pain, suffering, everything that wasn't felt or dealt with at the time of the original event, then we have the delay of the gratification, then we find that a lot of the time there is this stagnation or long periods of downtime whereby we're not connecting the dots fully and we're not working our way back through the process because of the fact that we don't have the right balance of these things coming through in the first place. So how do we get ourselves into a position whereby we can do the healing work but balancing the risk and the reward part of the journey in order to become the end result and in becoming the end result we become the benefit of that healing while also struggling at the same time to come to terms with exactly what we need to be doing during that time in order to become the person who we're meant to be so there's something then to think about in terms of where are you at on your healing journey where are your struggles do you have basically time to give to yourself to find out who it is that you are meant to be rather than who you were conditioned to be from the off. So if you've got any comments, if you've got any input, if there's anything on this video that you'd like explaining more or looking into, then do let me know and I'll respond in due time. But until next time, as always, trust the process and it's bye for now.